FNN The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good day, folks. Welcome to the September 3rd, the fantastic Friday edition of today's Trader's Ed Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two-by-four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past 1 o'clock in the afternoon, although right now it's just past 8 o'clock in the morning. So we're recording this show uh, early. We're going to try to make it as pertinent as we can for the day if you're listening to the replay. If you're listening early, we would love to hear from you. So you can give us a call at 877-927-6648. If you can't call in, well, we've got you covered there, too. You can send me an email. Now, if it's 1 o'clock, don't do that. But, uh, well, you can send me an email if you want. I just don't be able to respond to it uh, live on the show or anything. But you can right now at uh, steve at tfnn.com and inside the subject heading. If there's something you want me to take a look at, please put a uh, radio show question in that subject. Heading. That'd be great. And of course, in our Tiger's Den, for those that are joining us, uh, you can uh, send me a private or a public uh, message out there. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Fantastic Friday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. Again, I'm Steve Rhodes and welcome to the show. Right now, we got uh, futures. We're going to take a look at the equity futures out here. You got the Dow up 36 points. The NASDAQ is up 20. Uh, S&P is up six. Russell's up seven. Of course, what does all that mean? Well, we're going to go take a look at the charts and we'll show you what that means. If we take a look at what went on last night over in Asia, big move inside the Nikkei up 2%. We're going to go take a look at what that means as well as 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 well as look at what's going on inside the Hang Seng and the uh, Shanghai. We've got both uh, the DAX and the FTSE in Germany trading higher right now. They're up by 11 and 16. The DAX is up 11. The FTSE is up 16. We've got gold on the rise this morning. It's up about six bucks, trading at 18.17. It's dealing with the resistance level that we'll look at. Silver's up 22 pennies, about 1%. She's trading at 24.14. Light sweet crude is up a quarter right now. It's trading at 70 and a quarter. Natural gas up uh, a little over a penny, 4.6. 652 is what we're looking at. Copper's back a bit. 30-year uh, Treasury down uh, three ticks out here. Trade at 163.10. U.S. dollar index not doing much. Now, there's a delay, a 10-minute delay on my U.S. dollar index. So this is not going to be exact. This is, of course, at 8.09 in the morning. It's at 92.21. Commodity-wise, if we just take a look at some soft commodities out here, the biggest move is coming from cocoa, up one and a quarter percent. Um, otherwise, not a ton of activity out here. We could take a look at uh, the uh, uh, any of the futures contracts that you'd like. Of course, you got to give us a call at 877-927-6648 or send me an email or a ping inside the uh, Tiger's Den. So let's begin the morning here. How does Stevie begin the morning and take a look at the markets? You know, So I take a look at this, but what does this mean? What this means to me is we've got to go take a look at the charts. And by take a look at the charts, let's go start by taking a look at So I'll give you a feel for where I start my day out here, what the newsletters, what newsletter subscribers are seeing. And that is really just trying to interpret what this, the, what the chart that shows, you know, what the, where price traded to or where it's trading. But more so, what's important here are the patterns that we take a look at. So as an example, if we take a look at the Shanghai index, there's really a couple different patterns that are out here. There's an A to B equals CD. Let me show you that. I, I can't, I don't have my normal tool to draw that in, but, but you, and you can do this too at home. You know, this here's an easy way to do a one-to-one -one A to B equals CD, you know, which is copy that line, maintain that exact same line. So don't like draw a new one. And just so you can see here, there's an A to B equals CD pattern inside the Shanghai. Uh, if there's a bearish reversal candle that forms, that'll confirm a sell the D point. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, let me try to actually delete the proper thing out there. So I'm going to delete that. So that's one pattern that is in play. The other pattern is that the Shanghai confirmed a TD nine count top today. And uh, what's interesting here is 
if you take a look at the oscillator and change line, as it was changing colors, price was testing that level, which is a very bullish signal out here. So let's say you were interested in you you had a hankering to go short the Shanghai. I don't know what ETF you would use to do that out there, uh, but you would have a topping pattern that is in play. If price closes above the high of yesterday, that negates that topping signal. And that would suggest closing out that short trade. So that's what's going on in the Shanghai. It has a topping pattern in play. If we look at the Hang Seng, it actually has a bottom pattern, bottoming pattern that's in play. You can see this has generated Rhodes momentum indicator signal, but what is missing from this pattern is a bullish reversal candle. Some of the times we don't get that. Price is above this oscillator and change line, and that suggests that a further rally could unfold out there. The more important line is a green line is better than a red line out here. Of course, it depends whether you're long or short a market. So keep that in perspective. So do we have a topping signal here in the Hang Seng? No, just really maybe more of a consolidation pattern than anything else at this stage of the game. But if we take a look at the Nikkei, a gigantic move last night, you know, one would come in and say, look at that 2% move, that 584-point uh, move. Oh, let me pull this back a bit, make it a little bit easier for us to, to read. And you can see, uh, and, and, and this is a wide-ranging bar, but what price did, so now... It, it this confirmed this this being the Nikkei 225 has confirmed a TD nine count top. It has done it on the bar following bar number nine, which is labeled bar number one. Now price is closed above a TD nine breakdown level out here. So is this a real top or not? I mean, this is a strong bar taking out resistance. It's very possible. But the, the Nikkei is not one that I would play to the short side, at least not just yet. I would need to get some more confirmation. But there is a TD nine count top. Now, we want to understand these patterns of what's going on internationally, especially come Monday's trading. Now, our markets are closed Monday, but they're not closed over in Asia. So if we see the Nikkei take out its high, this is really important. If we see the Nikkei, not that the Nikkei necessarily is going to represent what's going to happen in the U.S., but that would be quite a signal. So if the Nikkei takes out that high, closes above that high, and we'll certainly know that on Tuesday when our U.S. markets uh, reopen. But we'll, we'll know that, quite frankly, Monday. We'll, we'll know Monday uh, at about uh, this time. So uh, if that high gets taken out, the, what, what, the reason why we bring that up, I bring that up, is because we have so many TD9 count topping patterns inside the U.S., uh, so we want to understand what's going on internationally. So the DK does have a TD9 count top. Let's see what kind of action we get come Sunday, Monday. The DAX, the DAX actually has a TD9 count top. You can see bar number eight out here. This form, well, I'll just expand out the chart a bit so you can take a look at that. So this has a valid topping signal. This is on August the 13th when it generated that. It's led to just a sideways move. Now, the key level inside the DAX is 15,600.80. If price closes below that, that would signal to you and I a change in trend out here. Uh, if we look at the FTSE, the FTSE's message is slightly different. Now, the FTSE has wave number seven. That's letter G. So it does have that top that's in place. But price is above its green oscillator and change line. So that says a further rally may unfold out here. So a different message in the FTSE than in the DAX. If we look at the U.S. dollar index, U.S. dollar index and the euro, let's keep these two uh, charts here small. So the euro makes up about 57% of the U.S. dollar index. You can see this has a TD9 count top. And that is below TD9 breakdown resistance and the U.S. dollar index is going to form a TD9 count bottom today. The bar following bar number nine. So the U.S. dollar index may be putting in a bottom while the euro puts in a top. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be back in just a few. We'll go take a look at the equity futures markets and see what their signals are suggesting to you and I. We'll be right back. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE, and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. Hey, before we go take a look at the equity futures, uh, we do have uh, one question that has uh, come in. Uh, this is from Hector. And the fuel injectors, that's Hector and Patty. Happy uh, Frosty Foster's Friday. I do like a uh, Foster's beer. Uh, of course, that's when I get my taste back out there. Because right now when I drink alcohol, it just tastes like rubbing alcohol. And that's a nasty kind of a uh, flavor. That, that'll make you want to quit drinking altogether. But then even Hector is asking about uh, ticker symbol ABBV. That's ABV out here. And the question is, ABVV, can you please give us a possible AB equals CD by the D-point scenario? Thanks. Have a great weekend. You too. Um, I can't. So not because I can't, but because I can't, because there's no A to B equals CD pattern that is present if you're talking about to the downside. Yeah, because you're looking at a buy the D-point. So let me just expand out the chart here for a B B V. The the only way that I could do that, Hector, is my assumption would have to be that yesterday's high would be the C point of the A to B equals C D pattern. I could show you that. I will show you that, but that's not really what I see out here, at least not at the moment. So, you know, for the A to B equals C D, it'd be the high of uh, two days ago. It would be the low of two days ago. That would be the B point, and then the C point being yesterday's high out there in fact my system won't even really do that that well so uh, i guess it's my other the other tool that i've got that will uh my ninja trader 7. so i don't have that but here's what you do need to know about uh, a b here's what i can share with you about abv out here price yesterday so uh with big move you know yesterday it explored the entire profile weekly profile that is so price got down to support 105.58 that is what abv would need to close below in order to signal a change in trend now let's pull over my other charts just see hector and patty if there's anything else that is out here so on the daily time frame price pulled back and is testing close below it uh, slightly below its breakout level 112.89 so i would say a close below that today is going to suggest lower price now that lower price just may be the bottom of that daily profile out there um, and if price gain a weekly profile that is again that's in the 105.58 now if price closes below that not that we get any kind of a to b equals cd pad well not at least yet we need more bars to actually form uh, hector but if price closes below 105.58 where will it head to i'm going to look at the monthly time frame chart you can also see so the monthly time frame chart has a valid td9 count top out here the month just began but a close below 
the oscillator and change line, which is currently on a monthly basis. That is currently printed at 112.69. That would suggest that Abby could pull all the way back to $86. So there are two levels to be watching in Abby. Uh, 105.58, and if price closes below that, then we would say, well, there's a target of 86 bucks on its head out there. So, Hector, I hope that helps you out. Sorry I couldn't come up with an A to B equals CD pattern to the downside for you. Uh, thanks so much for writing in, and have a great weekend, holiday weekend as well. Uh, no, oh, there is another request out here, and this is inside the Tiger's Den. And this is SNP, and he would like me to really be able to track Ethereum. But I don't get that data feed out here, and so I can't put that uh, on uh, my charts. But there is an ETF. I, did, I wasn't aware of this. There's an ETF for Ethereum. It's called ETHE. So we're going to take a look at ETHE. Let me get that going on my other system. To uh, and, and I think you're just asking, uh, yeah, I was just asking if can I chart it? In essence, looking for any kind of signals that might be out here. So you guys have to do the work to see how well ETHE tracks Ethereum out here. Uh, but let's at this stage here, I'm just going to assume that it is relatively close or is very accurate out here. So what do we know? Right now, what we know, and this is going to be the end of the week, if ETHE can close above 3518, that will be bullish because that is the top of its weekly profile. And what that would then do is that would suggest a move all the way up to its recent high. Its recent high, ETHE, that is, is 4323. Now, S&P, if we bring over my other charts, my white background charts here, let's go see what we find. We see that at 39 bucks, even Steven, that is a TD9 breakdown level. So if price can close above that, that's your natural area of resistance right now. If price can close above that, that would be bullish. And that would say price goes and at least runs for that all-time high that we took a look at. Uh, what else do we know? In this bottom back here on the trading day of July 20th, that was a nice TD9 count to bottom that's out there. Price in, inside the ETF out here, SNP, this did generate a confirmed Rosemont indicator top because yesterday was a shooting star candle. Now, this is where you really need to take a look at the underlying instrument because it may not have generated a shooting star candle. I don't know. But even though it does have that topping signal, price is above the top of that daily profile, above the oscillator and change line, and that generates a bullish to neutral signal here. So what are we going to go with? It's bullish to neutral, but if price takes out yesterday's high, 39 bucks is a level, and if price takes out 39 bucks, then it's off to higher ground out there. On a weekly time frame chart, we talk about how price is above the top of that uh, profile level. Uh, when this topped on a weekly basis, it was a TD9 count top. That's where price is headed to. That's, it's, I guess, it's not the all time high. It's the high from back in May, and that is up in the uh, 43.23 level. So, SNP, I hope that helps you out with regard to ETH, Ethereum, ETHE, the ETF, and hopefully it does uh, track pretty well to the actual underlying instrument. Let's go out to Brent in Martinez, California. Brent, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? You there, Steve? I am. Nice to hear your, your voice this early in the morning. Now, Brent, Brent's calling. It's 524, folks. That's a committed trader out here. And uh, so thanks thanks so much for uh, joining us. Now you said you usually get up early. Up early, out of bed, looking at the markets? I should probably be committed, Steve, but yeah, I'm, yeah, <laughs> I'm up. And <laughs> I no, got no, up no. early. My, my son and his, actually, just got married last weekend. His new wife oh. were down here. They, they live in Tahoe, and it's kind of a mess up there right now. With, yes, yes. Hey, congrats to that. And everything. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> but uh, no. I was uh, calling about NAT. I talked to you about this, you know, when it was at its lows, just whatever, price a week or so ago. Yes. And uh, it's made some progress here. I just want to get your thoughts on where we're at and where it might be heading. So it did. It made us. So with regard to the low in, in uh, Nordic American tankers, folks, the type of low that it formed out here was a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. And it did that a couple of different days. It did on August 17th, and it reconfirmed that on August 20th. <coughs> Excuse me. So it's got a nice uh, bottom out there. Uh, the, re the resistance level, Brent, is going to be $2.68. 268 is a TD9 breakdown level. So if price can close above that, then that gives you uh, another change in trend signal. And that would suggest a move up to 308. That's the next TD9 breakdown level for Nordic American tankers. Now, there's also an A to B equals CD pattern that is in play. Sorry, let me just get this white background chart out of the way. So we can see an A to B equals CD. So the B point here took place on the trading day of August 25th. And that had volume of 2.2 million shares. It was passed with 3.6 million shares. So that's a confirmed A to B equals CD. This is the reason why I suggest to everybody in the A to B equals CD pattern, you should learn this pattern for sure. But with regard to trading it, 
What you don't want to do is just simply buy or sell the one-to-one, -one, the D point. The reason that you don't want to do that is because that's not necessarily because only 60 percent of the time, roughly, is, well, an A to B equals CD complete the one to one level. Those aren't really the greatest of odds, 60 versus 40. It's almost a coin flip. We don't need a coin flip. We let the market communicate to you and I. And the way that it does that, Brent, it would generate if we do get some type of bearish reversal candle, that would then be a sell the D point or a Gartley sell pattern. We don't have that in play right now, but it is something that we have to take a look at. So right now what we know is price should uh, go target the uh, 268 level and 278 happens to be the top of its weekly bear structure profile. Brent, hold on. We're going to a breakout here. We'll come back with Brent in Martinez, California. Take a look at Nordic American tankers. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Uh, we're recording this show today. It's now 8.30 in the morning. Uh, thanks for listening live. We're on the line with Brent in Martinez, California. We're taking a look at Nordic American tankers, which has made a nice bottom on both the daily and the weekly time frame chart out here. So, Brent, let me just uh, point this out to our uh, viewers. So if we take a look at the weekly chart, as soon as I can get this thing to expand, that would be nice. Doesn't look like my uh, system wants it, it. It's too early for my computer system, apparently, Brent. Uh, this is interesting. <laughs> Holy cow, what's going on here? I think we got the NSA. They always like to fit. Wow, that's really weird. Um, okay, so maybe I can't show that. So 
I'll, I'll, I'll try to do this on, on the other side. So what this did on a weekly basis, I believe, was it also formed a, a TD nine count bottom. So you've got nice uh, a nice bottom that is in play out here. Oh, maybe I can pull it over now to pull this over. Let's try to expand this one more time. OK, I guess the answer is no. Wow. No idea what's going on there. That's a bummer. Uh, so, Brent, what? <laughs> sorry about that. What questions do you have so far? So it's got nice bottom in place. We know there's a resistance level that's just above. There's an A to B equals CD pattern. And uh, there's no reason to jettison the position. And the reason why I want to discuss those patterns with you, especially the A to B equals CD, is because folks that would like to get in on a trade in Nordic American uh, uh, tankers out here, knowing that it's up at resistance and we have these patterns in play, I wouldn't necessarily chase it right now. Uh, wait to see if we get a completed uh, short-term topping signal and then buy the retracement out there. Um, so, so I just wanted to pass that message along to them, uh, Brent. So what additional information maybe can I provide to you? No, it's great, Steve. I appreciate you taking a look at it and I'll, you know, just see what kind of progress it makes. I did notice that AB equals CD pattern and see how that plays out. And then we'll just take it from there. But that helps to give the – she gave me those different levels to be watching. Perfect. So watch those areas and then 278. And boy, if price closes above 278, that is a, a brand new bearish structure daily profile that formed this week. So when and if Nordic American tankers closes above that, that would be a very uh, bullish message, uh, Brent, out there and everybody else that's watching Nordic American tankers. Hey, Brent, thanks so much for calling. Have a, a great uh, holiday uh, weekend and uh, congrats on the uh, marriage of your son as well. And uh, we'll talk to you next week. All right. Thank you very much, Steve. Do the same. and Enjoy your weekend. Take care, Absolutely. Right? You bet. That was Brent right. in right, Martinez, bye. California. So my other charts, I'm not really sure what the heck is going on uh, there, folks, uh, because I'm really struggling and I can't even see my clock now. So what I mean uh, by, by saying that is the guys in the production room, you're going to need to. Oh, I got my clock back. OK, good. Um, so let's go on just simply to the general markets out here. I don't think there's any other questions uh, and yeah, nothing inside the Tiger's Den. So let's go take a look at what's going on inside the uh, futures market. Uh, right now, we've got, uh, well, gold is taking a big move to the upside. Gold's up 20 bucks. Silver's up 50 cents. So I think that's an area where we should go take a look at. So let's go take a look at Steve's gold charts. We'll see if we can get to these are my other white background charts. We'll see if this is going to cooperate with us and we'll change panels. So let's take a look at. Uh, uh, oh man, it's not it's OK. Here we go. So I gigantic move really in uh, gold. So let's go take a look at it. Oops. OK, so here's our eight panel gold chart. And on the eight panel gold chart, so you can see if you look over in the upper right hand corner, you take a look at the 30 minute time frame. So yesterday was gold was moving lower. It formed a TD nine count bottom. That's why we pay so close attention to these TD nine counts. And now what price is doing, price is going to be in bar number seven on a uh, 30 minute time frame. But price is taking out that first resistance level, 1818. In fact, we'll go back and take it's at 1827, which I believe is above the top of its daily profile. Now, the important here, let's see if I can expand this out. Here's a daily chart. Yeah, maybe not so much. Uh, OK, so what we don't have in the daily time frame is any kind of a topping signal. Now, the question is, could we draw in an A to B equals CD pattern? That's what formed the bottom, by the way, was a buy the D point. The A to B pattern out here, uh, uh, you know, I guess I'll draw that in, just make it a little bit easier for you. So here's A to B, and then with regard to B to C, I'm just going to go ahead and just instead of I'm just going to move this over if I can. And uh, so here is that uh, C to D leg. And again, the confirmation, the way that Stevie does this, the confirmation comes by generating a bullish reversal candle. And there we got that. We got the three river morning stars. So now the question is, is there some kind of A to B equals CD to the upside? And it's possible. So if we were to draw that in, this is how I would draw it. Uh, so Hector's probably paying attention as he should. So the question is, do we use this A as our B point, so to speak, or do I use B? I'm going to go ahead and use B as the B point from the A to B equals CD pattern. And uh, just visually looks uh, better to me to do that. And then that would give us a one to one price projection if this is going to form. We don't know until the end of the day. That gets us back to our most recent highs uh, up in the uh, 1920 area. So that's what the daily time frame chart is suggesting to us. Let's uh, take a look around here, see if there's anything else. So 
There is a couple of other things. And this is so I break down this chart. The reason why we have eight panels, we've got the, we cover the monthly, the weekly, the daily, then we go to the intraday chart. So 30, 60, 122, 40, and five hour chart. So on the five hour chart, so far all this is is just a spike test of a, a topping pattern. You can see a TD9 count on the uh, three, on the five hour time frame chart. And that high out there, by the way, is 1826.50. That's a level that price must close above for the five-hour time frame chart to signal to you and I that uh, this move is nothing more than just some kind of emotional move out here. I think this is must be the uh, jobs report. That must be the jobs report that came out at 8:30 uh, that has moved the uh, markets and the reason why my system had slowed up so much. Uh, but. The, uh, the five-hour chart is very clear with regard to what price needs to do. It has not done that just yet. The, the four-hour chart says the same thing. Now, this formed a TD9 count top, a Rhodes Mintum indicator signal. But again, price must close above that high. Again, that high, 1826.50, in order to suggest that there is some kind of breakout and move to the upside out there. So now let's go back and take a look at my other gold charts out here, the black background charts. Give me a moment to switch over to that set of uh, panels. And there, when we get to uh, gold, we'll be able to take a look at this chart. So here when we take a look at gold, now we can see what did the spike high do so far? And where does price really need to close above in order to signal to you and I that gold is in the clear? And the area is good that's going to have to clear is going to be the swing point of July 15th. And that's at 1836. I use that swing point high because you can see all this descending trend line resistance that price is trading into. So yes, gold is above the top of its daily profile, but right into another level of resistance. So it hasn't really proven itself to us, not at 837 in the morning. If we take it in, if price does make a move higher, then the real key area that you'd be watching for is 1837. Now gold, uh, both a daily and a weekly time frame, generated a buy the D point. Nice big hammer candle out here. That's the hammer candle from the week of August the 9th. If gold were able to close above 1836.70, that would be a very bullish development out there. And then that A to B equals CD pattern that we were looking at. In fact, you can see the A to B equals CD. Now you can't really see it out here on the daily time frame. I take that back. My, apo my apology. All that does is just really gets us back to those prior highs at 1920 area. So what do we know about gold so far? Gold has not proven itself, not just yet, 838. But what we can say for sure is a close of 1836.70. That says uh, time to move to the upside out there. Now, the interesting thing about gold, and uh, we'll take a look at this when we come back from this breakout here, is that we take a look at gold and the U.S. dollar index, U.S. dollar index right now in the very right-hand panel of the chart. This has a TD nine count bottom that's going to form today at the support of its bullish structure weekly profile. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC. 
LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, uh, folks. So we're talking about gold and the U.S. dollar index. What we have on my screen right now are the uh, currencies that make up the U.S. dollar index. The euro being the uh, largest percentage, about 57 percent, and if that's in the upper left-hand panel. And what you'll note here is that this will complete a TD9 count pattern today. With today's high, whatever that high is, being the key level to be observing. So we know that the U.S. markets are closed on Monday, but the uh, currencies, they will be trading out here. Uh, beginning Sunday evening at uh, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you're going to want to watch the euro because if the euro closes above today's high, whatever that is, then its TD9 count top will have failed. And if it fails, then that would be signaling that the U.S. dollar index would fail. The U.S. dollar index does have one level of support to test, uh, even on a failure, and that's its breakout here of 91.68. But if it does fail and price closes below that, then that's going to signal to you and I that the U.S. dollar index is ready to move even lower. And then that could put the energy, could put the energy that gold needs. Gold needs to trade higher, folks, not just in terms of U.S. dollars, but all of the major currencies. That means the euro, the yen, and the pound. And you'll know that those are the other three currencies that you and I pay attention to with regard to how gold is trading. If gold is trading higher in all of these currencies, then you've got a rally across the globe. If you don't and it's trading lower in terms of euros, higher in terms of dollars, then you have competing buyers and sellers out there. And it's really kind of a neutral type signal. So this is really going to be interesting. Now, we don't have to take any kind of action or anything. Uh, it wouldn't surprise you or I for the euro to top and for the dollar to bottom. If they do that, where would their price targets be? The price targets would clearly be the oscillator and change line. So in the case of the euro, that's at 117 and change. And the U.S. dollar index, that's 92.78. So what I'm suggesting that you do is that you uh, pay attention to the uh, euro's close on Monday because that will then give you a real signal as to what is uh, likely unfolding here currency-wise, which may impact the gold-silver commodities uh, in uh, general out there. Okay, so that's the U.S. dollar index. Uh, what do we want to go take a look at uh, next out here? Uh, the equity – well, I'll tell you what we're going to look at as long as we're on this panel here. I'll share with you – this now this are these is a this is a, a typical type of table that subscribers receive and all types of subscribers are trading different things or managing their portfolios differently so and we we'll take a look at this uh, this shows us our cash indices our index ETFs the sectors with inside the S&P 500 I've got the top 10 and DX1 holdings maybe that's shifted a little bit the top 10 uh, Dow holdings without Microsoft because that happens to be up in the NDX 100 area and then some of the futures contracts now I've got those listed here so that we can take a look at and understand are there any kind of bottoming or topping signals that are present and uh, the reason that the price is not here on the uh, daily time frame is it needs to wait uh, this tool needs to wait for the market to reopen 
uh, out there. So, uh, but here what we have is we've got topper bottoming signals. So these are the roads minimum indicator signals. We took a look at that with Brent when we take a look at Nordic American tankers out there and how well those help us to identify tops or bottoms. The same thing is with regard to the TD9 counts. So now you're seeing the top and bottoming signals out here, roads minimum. Look at all of the highlighted. Now what you're really looking at are the ones that have stars. If you've got a star next to it, that tells us that we have a valid TD9 count pattern out there. So as an example, the S&P 500 does not have a valid pattern just yet. If price, uh, I would have to go take a look at the S&P 500 chart to see what it needs to do. But no worries because the ES Mini does. So at least one of them has the uh, topping signal. So here on a daily basis, these highlighted pinkish uh, areas with the stars, look at all of the topping signals that we have. And then we've got finally the wave counts wave up and wave down. In this case here, we're looking at the wave ups. And we're looking for the capital G's out there. So those capital G's, we look for wave number seven. That's where we would typically see some kind of change in trend signal. So all of the market here, when we take a look at this chart, what is this? Or this I call it a chart, whatever we want to call it, table. When we take a look at this table, how do we really interpret this? Well, remember, we took a look at the uh, uh, international indices, and it was the Shanghai and the Nikkei that have topping patterns that are in play out here, just to go along. The FTSE and the DAX also have existing topping patterns that are in play. So to the extent that the, that the markets globally, worldwide, want to move lower, the setup is here. Do you need to take any action right now? You can if you're an aggressive trader based upon all these signals out there. But if you're looking for this is the, would be the early stage of a change in trend that would take place. So no, and what I mean what I mean by that is this if this is a top of significance with September being the weakest month of the trading year out there. Ideally then price would move lower into October. So do you really have to catch or sell the top tick? I would say you don't. So what do you do out here? Well, um one of the things that you would do, one of the things that I would suggest that you do, is take a look at those short-term time frames. What do you mean, Steve-O? Well, what I mean is, and here is our eight-panel set of charts for the ES Mini, for the S&P 500. And if you take a look at the, I'll just expand this out. So here, here, here well, well, first, you can see the TD9 count. Bar number nine formed yesterday. Today is going to be the bar after bar number nine. This is the ES Mini. So whatever today's high is, if price is closing above that, uh, come uh, Tuesday next week, it'll tell us that this pattern has been negated, that there's no TD9 count top. Not that there can't be some other top that forms, but it would not be a TD9 count pattern. So what you want to watch for, the first, if this is a top, all right, and you're a um, – what you're looking for are key levels of support to fail. Well, inside the ES Mini, that first key level of support is being tested as we speak right now. So we can see just as gold had spiked up higher, we can see the spike inside the ES Mini. That ES Mini spike, well, I, can't, I, don't, I wasn't watching it, so I don't know, but I'm assuming it spiked up and then spiked down and has found support at its TD9 breakout level, 45, 34, 75. Now, this is an extraordinarily wide-ranging bar on a 30-minute chart out here. And so it's kind of hard to make heads or tails. So what do we know? We know right now that breakout support inside the ES Mini is held. And if price does not close below 45, 34, 75, we do not have a change in trend signal or the earliest of change in trend signals on the 30-minute time frame. What happens if we do get a close below 45, 30? 475. Where would price likely run to? Well, yes, you're correct. We all would take a look at those profile levels. Those are 45.24, 45.30, and 45.33. And if price could get below 45.24, the next breakout area is where price would target. That's the 45.18. So when I now, I'll, 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 I'll shrink this up a bit. And we have our other intraday time frames. So what you're looking for are key levels of support to be broken. Close, when I say broken, I mean close below. If we get that on the intraday time frame charts, that becomes the signal that we're starting to see a change in trend, right? So think about it like this. We get the topping signal on the daily. If it really is a top, then we should see support levels fail on the intraday. And the uh, basically, from a trading perspective, not an intraday trading perspective, but from like a swing type trading perspective, the shortest period of time that I look at is a uh, 30 minute in order to generate that. So when we take a look at the ES Mini right now, you can make the call. Is now the time? Do we have any kind of a change in trend signal that, or that the ES Mini, in fact, has formed that TD9 top that's going to be of significance? And the answer is no, we don't have that. But if we do get a close in 10 minutes, below 45, 34, 75, then we would have our first indication of that potential. What would you then want to see at day's end? What you'd want to see is a close below the oscillator and change line for the daily time frame.
So here's the next level to watch. Why? Because a green oscillator and change line tells us we have a rising price oscillator above zero, and that is bullish. So the level you're watching here, come day's end, is about 45.31. The price close below 45.31, odds favor. We've just gotten a change in trend signal. Zeroed with TFN. We'll be back in just a few moments. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter, a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets, so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the newsletters tab on the front page of tfnn.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, uh, folks, and uh, thanks so much for joining us early for all those folks that are listening to the 8 to 9 hour when we're recording this. If you are listening at 1, thanks so much for uh, doing that as well. We'll be back to uh, live programming on Tuesday. And uh, so let's summarize what it is that we uh, know at this uh, stage out here. So one of the first things that we know is uh, – stop sharing, start sharing. I'm just going to go back to this uh, table out here. We know that internationally – uh, I'm not going to show the international markets, but we know the Shanghai and the Nikkei and the DAX and the FTSE all have topping patterns that are in place out here. We know inside the U.S. markets. Now, the bars, the, the labels that show nine and a star next to them, a TD9 count top can have a higher high on the uh, bar following bar number nine. So these patterns remain active with regard to the topping signals. NASDAQ composite, the NDX 100. Uh, these are the TD9 counts, the Russell 2000, the S&P, and the uh, Wilshire 5000. Q's, SPIs, and IWM also have that same pattern. TD9 tops, uh, the XLK, uh, the XLY, they both have uh, topping signals. Tesla, Facebook, 
uh, I'm sorry, Amazon, not uh, Amazon, Tesla, and Facebook all have TD9 counts. PayPal has a TD9 count. Uh, the ES Mini, the NQ, and the uh, Russell 2000, and the U.S. dollar index has a TD9 count bottom out there. So it's interesting, the, uh, the U.S. dollar index has a TD9 count bottom. Gold does not. So now let's go switch over to our nine panel charts out here. And just uh, so so if all the signals point to the fact that there should be a top. But my suggestion is you wait for key levels of support to be broken. Or another thing you can wait for, and you watch this applies to really the S&P 500, is the uh, spot volatility index. If you see the spot volatility index close above 1748, Hopefully that's not a one-day rate of change greater than 10%. It might be. But if the, the spot ball tends to close above its 50-day exponential moving average, that would be another signal that a top is in place. Folks, thanks so much for joining us here live. Uh, have a fantastic holiday weekend. Be safe out there. And uh, stay tuned for a great program today. See you on Tuesday. Take care. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to most people. They think it's too volatile and risky. Most people aren't going to take the time to educate themselves on how to do it right. But you're not most people, are you? At TFNN, you'll get the guidance you need to refine your strategies and techniques to invest like a pro. Because you'll be a pro. All TFNN subscriptions, books, software, and courses are available at TFNN.com. And I'm even going to tell you how to get them for less. Use TFNN's Tiger Dollars and you'll get up to a 20% bonus on your purchase. And once you apply them to your account, Tiger Dollars are automatically used for all future or recurring charges. Tiger Dollars also never expire, are fully transferable, and are a great way to add savings to your newsletters or services. Become the investor you were born to be at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. Market.